Moving to wartime news, the Dutch Red Cross has apologized for failing to protect Jews during the Holocaust. Red Cross chairwoman Inga Brackman said the war years were undoubtedly a black stain on the organization's history, saying it showed a lack of courage during the Holocaust. Over 100,000 Dutch Jews were murdered by the Nazis in the extermination camps after being deported from the Netherlands, less than a quarter of Dutch Jewry surviving the genocide. The Dutch Red Cross said its headquarters made things too easy for the German occupiers. Here in the studio we have André Bors, Treasurer of the Association of Dutch Jews in Israel. Mr. Bors, thank you for joining us. Thank you. What exactly did the Dutch Red Cross do wrong during the war? By doing nothing. I think that rather than doing, uh, as the Red Cross was supposed to give humanitarian aid to, in the first place, the Dutch Jews who were the victims, and to others as well, uh, the Red Cross during the war looked the other way. They didn't do anything at all. Um, they would, I, I would say they, they quite adapted themselves to the instructions and the orders of the Germans. Just to give you one example, quite at the beginning of the uh, Second World War, the Germans gave instructions to stop blood transfusions by Jews. One would have expected from the Red Cross to oppose, to at, to, least, vigorously oppose. to at least oppose or to protest. Nothing of the kind. And what they did instead is they looked the other way. And they adapted themselves and didn't give any chance to Jews to give blood. That is just one small uh, example. So, so we're talking really about the Dutch Red Cross turning a blind eye to the persecution of Jewry rather than any active collaboration. Yes. I mean, how, how does this match internationally? The Nazis invaded many countries across Europe. How does the behavior of the Dutch Red Cross compare to the behavior of the Red Cross in other countries? Did they also similarly turn a blind eye? Uh, not all of them. There are definitely examples of Red Cross organizations in other countries which protested and which continued to help. Just to give you one example, Denmark sends parcels to concentration camps to the Jews in the concentration camps. Nothing of the kind for the Dutch Red Cross. And what do you understand as being the reason that the Dutch turned a blind eye? Was it really a lack of courage, as the Red Cross is saying now? They were simply scared to step in, or, or some latent anti-Semitism sympathies with the Nazis? What, what was at root here? I guess it's a combination of the two. Uh, the Red Cross today, I mean modern Red Cross in the last years, gave instructions to an independent historian to research what actually really happened. And the results are in this book, Matters of Life and Death, that has been uh, written by Regina Gruta, the historian. And what she says in her book is that rather than saying that they collaborated, it was the result of the Red Cross um, not daring to stand up, not doing anything to make life for the Jews in the concentration camps a little bit easier to even give them psychological support by sending parcels, for example. I mean, presumably the Red Cross itself would have been targeted for persecution by the Nazis if it had helped. That, that explains it? Not necessarily, because the Red Cross at the end of the day is supposed to be a neutral organization. And certainly the Germans would ultimately have tried to twist their arm. But there was no need to twist their arm. The Red Cross in, the Hol in Holland just readily accepted what they were told to do. Uh, how far as a whole has Dutch society come to terms with its failure to protect minorities, particularly Jews, during the Holocaust? I think that that is an ongoing process. It is still taking place. Um, I think that the Dutch in the last decade have accepted more that the heroic um, attitude that they took as they liked to tell us is not as heroic as it uh, was, was painted to us and as it was depicted to us. Okay, Andre Bors, Treasurer of the Association of Dutch Jews in Israel, thank you very much for giving us that historical insight.